Good morning, everyone. Well, after, it's almost afternoon. It's very bright. I should have worn my sunglasses. I am coming to you live from the snowy Virginia. I'm going to uh, bring Amanda in on this, and she is going to come live and talk about SNIC. So we're very excited about that. So Amanda, hopefully you're on. Uh, we're testing this out. Yep, I'm bringing you on. Here we go. Um, we have like seven inches of snow here in Virginia, which is kind of uncommon. So this is our my snowy front yard right now, which is beautiful. I'm excited. We haven't had this much snow here in three years, so I'm very excited. Hello. Hi, girlfriend. How are you? You are live from Austin, Texas. I have serious FOMO going on right now. So much. I... <laughs> How's it so far? Is today the first official day? Oh my gosh, Stephanie. Today is the first official day. We just had our brand new opening general session speaker. He was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Um, his name was Daniel Burris. I mean, this is the lineup that we have coming through to you. Like, this is my favorite conference of the year, like for sure by far. And it's being held at the beautiful JW Marriott Resort in Austin, Texas the live music capital of the world. Like, this is the best place to be. I can't believe you're not here. I, okay, so SNIC is on my school nutrition conference bucket list. I've never been. I have heard that um, from some people that it's one of their favorite conferences from industry partners, one of their favorite conferences for industry, like not just school nutrition, for industry in general. So I, yeah, so it's on my bucket list. Fingers crossed because you are the co-chair for next year in Palm Springs. I am, so. and it's going to be amazing. But what I've been telling people is I think that this is the most important nutrition industry that we've been to, sorry, I'm losing my earpiece, um, that we've had in the last few years because of the new flexibility, the flexibility conversations that are being had. And it's so important because I'm talking to all these different industry folks about what are your plans? Because if you're not going to make it, how am I going to buy it? So a lot of those conversations are taking place. There are so many amazing people here. And this is just absolutely fantastic because I think we have over 700 people that are at this conference. And mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely fantastic. You have those real authentic conversations with people that are things that are going to affect the way that we serve food in FY21. But I just want to share with you a couple of such cool things that you missed out on, my love, but you'll be here next year for sure. I will make sure of it. Um, Daniel Burris, he's an innovation expert. He just gave us this incredible, incredible keynote speech about turning disruption and change. <laughs> put that back in, into opportunity and advantages. And some of the things he said were so interesting. He was like, don't be too busy to see what's coming down the pipeline. You know, we get Ooh, so, that's good. Right. We get so busy with like, this is what's important today. And we're not able to see what the future is. He says, yeah. I wasn't a taxi. Yeah. Why does a taxi driver think about Uber? Because he was too busy driving taxis. And I was like, yes, Daniel, I get it. I totally feel what is happening here. Yeah. And he said that the natural progression from data is to information, which is then translated into knowledge and then formulated into wisdom after several years in our business. And then when you're talking about the, ed the generational gap with folks, you know, we need to take value in people that are in all yeah. parts of that of that change and that career process. So that was really, really cool. And then he said, hope is not a strategy. <laughs> you know, hoping for the best, like have an action plan, right? Something like you're all about action plans. I, I am, I am. Don't mind me. I'm like, it's only 22 degrees outside. So I'm just like trolling around, walking around. Keeping so the blood flow up. Keeping the blood. All right, I won't bore you because obviously I could not, uh, convey all of the amazing amazingness of this speaker today but we were talking about um just looking at my notes here einsteins of the future are in elementary school everyone yes! wants to make a yes. difference so like even bringing problems to our elementary school students to have them start to sort those through but i'm going to take you outside because i'm going to blow your mind and i'm going to 
I'm going to show you some awesome people that you're totally missing out on right now. And I want you to contain your enthusiasm for like 3.6 seconds because you're about to lose it. Okay. I'm going to... There's snow. There's lots and lots of snow. Oh, well, we won't talk about yes, the fashion we have, that we've been getting. Good morning. We miss you, Stephanie. I miss you guys, but I'm glad you're having a great conference. And I'm on here. so bad. Hold on. Here, have an earbud. Okay, there we go. All right, we just became even closer friends because we're sharing earbuds. I love it. I love it. It melts my heart, honey. I'm so excited. Last year, I was there last year. Um, this one, I mean, it just kicked off so great. I'm sure you talked about oh um, the speaker and like about yeah. trends and everything. So fun. I love that he yeah. was like, he kind of challenged us like as industry and operators. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah. he's putting it to us. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Sorry, my dog is like whining at the door. He wants to come outside and play the snow every few seconds. But I, well, and you know, I can give like a real life example of how like elementary students are the future Einstein. Yes, I love the exercise. I don't know if Amanda told you the exercise we did where we looked at what's a, no. a hard trend that we can bank on. Like, what's a trend that we know is happening, and then how do we create opportunities from it? It was so great. And that's, I mean, now that you've got, like, you can say a hard trend is that your students are actually getting really involved, and they, they care, and it's, an, you know, it's a social issue as well. They do. Oh, and I realized I'm just holding that. I'm switching hands because I told Amanda it's like 22 degrees, 23 degrees, so it's cold here. But they... <laughs> you could be in Austin. I know. Uh, Guilt trip. I know. <laughs> Someone has some FOMO who doesn't see snow. Like, here we go. But I think, well, and I think the biggest challenge and trend is going to be to realize that our elementary students truly, because they don't, you think about it, when I've done sessions with Mike from Nutrislice and um, all of these sessions on Gen Z, and you've done them. This generation, they've never known a world without terrorism. They've never known a world. They don't know any different, and so they have that big heart. And you're creating technology. Yeah. They've grown up with that. Yeah. That plus social, just social issues too. It's going to be great. Yeah. And now, Liz, do you have sessions? Are you speaking at any sessions here? I'm not. SMIC? I'm not. No. I hear you can hear her anytime on Gab and Go podcast. Right. Right. Which I love. That was another thing that Daniel Burris talked about. Was he was like, we can't let these conversations that we've had at these tables stop. We have to like get together and he's like the SNA has these resources and then potluck yeah. which you know link in the comments but like no plugs here but like potluck is just about that too it's like yeah. let's keep these conversations going so no I'm here to absorb and fill my notebook with lots of stuff to write more blog posts and share past SNIC because it's so much good information and there's an action another portion of from the speech that we just had there's going to be a webinar on school nutrition association for everyone to partake in that's going to share a lot of the uh the tangibles that we created in our small groups and so people that weren't at snic are going to have the opportunity to still participate yeah with the general speaker and this is just one of the additional wow. mem memberships that the yeah. that school nutrition that's is fantastic. giving us. yeah you're gonna love it I stephanie serious, like seriously I serious promo, but it's okay I, I'm relying on you ladies to yep. take excellent notes and have lots of live videos. Yep. So I can just have a lot of FOMO over the next two or three days and it's okay. Awesome. I will deal with it. So be sure to and take a look at um, live for my guest. We'll be yep. going 
will be going um, live every day from SNIC. Tomorrow's really exciting because tomorrow's a tabletop session mm -hmm. where 21 different companies are going to be featuring different products, solutions for K-12. Yeah. So we'll definitely be taking you on a tour of the room, and that'll be really exciting during yes. lunch tomorrow. But I just yes. had to show you one of your favorite faces, Stephanie. <laughs> and I love it. For our viewers, and this is Liv, Liz Russell from mm -hmm. Horizon. Yep. Thank and, you. Yeah, I mean, Gavin Go Podcast, and we're big fans. I'm so excited to hear. I haven't listened to y'all's podcast yet. Ugh. You hear the y'all came out. Whatever. North Carolina, <laughs> Texas. But I'm so excited to hear y'all hear your podcast too. I mean, it's just it's just another medium. It's technology, as we heard, is a hard trend. It's not going anywhere. So thanks for jumping on the podcast with us. Absolutely. Supporting well, fellow and school nutritionists. Yeah, and speaking of technology, so I, I need a favor to make my SNIC FOMO legit real. Um, rumor has it Dale Hayes and Jeannie Riley are getting ready to do a boomerang session. Um, I expect a boomerang with all four of you in it. <laughs> that is my present that I want from SNIC. That is my souvenir. I want a boomerang <laughs> with both of you and Jeannie and Dale, and that will make my world. You've got it. Well, well challenge accepted. Yes. The only thing that will the only thing that will be missing is the cranberry, because I can't get your cranberry um, boomerang from Fincy. Like that's the boomerang of all boomerangs. I'm so I'm sorry. Like don't get your hopes too high. You already topped us. They have emoji beach balls and maracas. It's okay.